I'm Hannah, I'm your friendly neighborhood wine mom, and I don't remember why. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannah, I'm your friendly neighborhood wine mom, and if you're anything like me, you believe that a glass of wine at 9 p.m. makes you a better mom. So pour yourself a glass and let's talk. But first, here's why I'm drinking tonight. We were at my friend's one-year-old son's birthday party last weekend, and my four-year-old son, Jackson, has just decided that he's not going to point with this finger anymore. I don't understand why he's four, he's been pointing like this his whole life. Anyway, he goes up to the one-year-old's mom and goes, hey, is Noah one? Holding it up. The mom is just like. Ah. So cheers. Rose tonight, because this is a birthday present from my mom. And while we're on the topic of birthdays, let's talk about the best and worst things of kids' birthday parties. About kids' birthday parties. Disclaimer, there is not a lot of good. Let's start this on a positive note with some two really easy pros. Pizza and cake. Who doesn't love going to a kid's birthday party and just being able to wolf down some greasy pizza, chasing it with some like awful ingredient cake. And I'm not talking about those artisan, like beet colored, prune sweetened cakes. I'm talking like the sheet cake from the grocery store. Like pump that dye in there. If my mouth isn't blue at the end, you haven't done your job. But on the other hand, there are some parents, I don't know what kind of hell they crawled up from. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> they serve salad for the parents. What possesses them to do this? I'm not a rabbit attending your party. I want the same greasy cheese bread as these children. I want to shove my face full of carbs and fat. I don't want leaves and nuts and berries and shit. Pro tip, if you, the, <laughs> pro tip, Put a billion pieces of pizza on your kid's plate because you know eventually after the third piece, they're gonna be like, oh my God, I can't. And then when they can't finish it, be like, oh my God, wait. Oh, I don't wanna waste it. <laughs> and then you don't have to be stuck with your wimpy salad. I'm drinking this kind of fast. <laughs> Next, alcohol. There are some parents, probably the same parents who serve salad to the other parents, who don't serve booze at their party. Why are you doing this to me? I didn't come here to drink some soda with you guys. I came here to have a couple chugs of wine. And then even worse, if they don't serve soda because they don't want their kids to accidentally open a Coca-Cola and bounce off the fucking ceiling, you're stuck drinking a juice box. So I'm standing in the corner talking to Martha about redoing her lawn and at least if I had a glass of wine in my hand, I could pretend to care a little bit more. I'm out. <laughs> this rosé is really good. The dangers of rosé is it tastes really good and it goes down really fast. I like write a line on the bottle of when it's time to stop. Next is other people's kids. Your kid might be awesome, like both my kids are awesome and I'm totally not even biased. I'll be the first to say they're total butts, but they're awesome. But when we're at a party, we also have to deal with everyone else's crappy kid. There's always one giant kid in the bounce house and their parents are never there watching them. They're always off in the corner, rambling to someone about their kitchen remodel or something. In the meantime, their old big child is traumatizing all these two year olds by like bouncing super big and like making them all fly off the walls. And it's awkward to try to like tell off this nine-year-old, hey, can you not be an asshole? On the other hand, it makes you realize that those kids might be shitty, not as shitty as I thought my kids were. <laughs> Wait, I think you got that reversed. They're shitty, but not as shitty as I thought my kids were. No. What am I supposed to say? Other way around. I will get this. Sometimes, I will admit, I think my kids are totally shitty, but at least they're not as shitty as these other kids at this party. <laughs> Next. Something. Doing all right? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Slow down a little bit. I need to slow down on the wine a little bit, <laughs> okay. And finally, hosting. There is so much pressure when you're hosting a birthday party to one up the last person's party, to go on Pinterest and find 
everything that you can make yourself. It's, if it's not handmade, it's suddenly not as good. My attitude is to go to the 99 cent store and buy it and save some time. <laughs> like, It's more like to please the parents, which really doesn't make any sense. I've never been satisfied from one of my children's birthday parties. I've always ended the birthday party thinking that was a disaster, that was awful. And then I look at my child, they don't care if their cupcake tier was made by hand. They don't care if their party favors were handmade. There's just so much joy coming from their face, just like nothing but pure joy. And that makes it completely worth it. So that's all I got for today. I'm Hannah, your friendly neighborhood wine mom. We have another kid's birthday party to attend tomorrow, of course. I haven't wrapped the gift, of course. So I'm gonna turn this nice chair into a comfy bed and pass right out with my last two sips of wine. Until next time. Oh, that was so bad. I don't know why they gurgle every time they come out.